In this problem, we're given that the hyperbolic sine of u, so sinh of u, is equal to negative 3 fourths. And the question is to find the other five hyperbolic functions. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to start by using an identity. So cosinh squared of u minus sinh squared of u is equal to 1. And we're going to use this identity to basically find um, cosinh. And once we have cosinh, we are pretty much set because we can find the rest of them. So let's go ahead and plug in the sinh u into this uh, identity. So cosinh squared of u minus, and sinh u is negative 3 fourths. So this is negative 3 over 4, and the whole thing is squared, and this is equal to 1. So we have cosinh squared of u minus, um, when you square this, because it's negative, it's going to become positive. So you square the 3, so you get uh, 9, and square the 4, so you get 16, like that. That's equal to 1. Now we're going to add this to both sides, so plus 9 sixteenths, plus 9 sixteenths. Um, when you're adding these, you want to think of 1 as 16 sixteenths. That way you can add the fractions because that way the denominators are the same. So you end up with cosinh, cosinh squared of u. Uh, 16 plus 9 is 25. So we get 25 over 16. So we have cosinh squared of u. We want cosinh of u. So if you take the square root of both sides, you end up, you end up getting cosinh of u equals plus or minus, and then you take the square root of 25, that's, that's 5 and the square root of 16 is 4. Now the thing is, uh, cosinh is only positive. Uh, the graph of cosinh is only positive numbers, so it can't be negative. So cosinh of u is equal to uh, 5 fourths. That gives us uh, one of the other ones. If you're not convinced um, that it's positive, you can think about what cosinh is, right? It's the average of e to the u and e to the negative u, and you divide it by 2. So so it's positive plus positive. Everything's positive here, so this is greater than zero. So there's no way it can be negative. All right, now we just got to find the other ones. So let's find, for example, um, the hyperbolic um, tangent. So tanch u, that's just cinch over cosinh. So you take negative 3 fourths, that's the cinch, divided by cosinh, so 5 fourths. All right, just cinch over cosinh, right, cinch which is negative 3 fourths over cosinh, which is 5 fourths. Yeah, looks okay. So whenever you divide like this, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's negative 3 over 4 times the reciprocal of 5 fourths, which is 4 fifths. And here we still have tanch, or hyperbolic tangent of u. Oh, look at that, they cancel. So the hyperbolic um, tangent of u is equal to negative uh, 3 over 5. So that gives us uh, the hyperbolic tangent. All right, now we need the other ones. Um, how about the hyperbolic secant of u? Well, that's one over the hyperbolic cosine of u. Right, it's one over the one that starts with the other letter. That's how I memorize it, it's the SC. Nice little cheap trick. So it's one over 5 fourths, which is really one times the reciprocal, so one times 4 fifths, which is 4 fifths. So I'll write it again over here. The hyperbolic secant of u is 4 fifths. Boom. All right, we've got cosinh, tanch, hyperbolic secant. Um, we need the hyperbolic cosecant. That one's pretty easy. So hyperbolic cosecant of u. That's 1 over the hyperbolic sine of u, which is 1 over, and I already forgot what it was. Uh, it's negative 3 fourths. So it's 1 over negative 3 fourths. And again, 1 divided by negative 3 fourths is really 1 times the reciprocal, so 1 times negative 4 thirds, which is negative 4 thirds. So I'll write it again, the hyperbolic uh, cosecant of u is negative 4 thirds. Good stuff, right? Nice little problem. And then we just need the hyperbolic cotangent, so we're going to use uh, hyperbolic tangent. So hyperbolic cotangent of u is 1 over the hyperbolic tangent which is 1 over negative 3 fifths. So the hyperbolic uh, cotangent of u, it's one, uh, 1 times the reciprocal, so 1 times negative 5 thirds, which is negative 5 thirds. So I'll write it again down here. The hyperbolic cotangent of u 
it is equal to negative five thirds. So not not too bad, not really a hard problem uh, if you know how to start it, right? So the key is, um, you know, you start the problem by using this identity here, and that gives you cosine squared, and then realize that cosine is positive. That's kind of key, and that gives you this. And once you have sinh and cosine, you know, you can divide them to get tanh, and then the other ones are just reciprocals. You know, so it's pretty easy uh, after that. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.